What's up everybody? I'm making this video so I can talk about my experience in selecting some kind of audio for my projector. So as you know, some projectors come with a built-in speaker. You know, I want some really good sound. So obviously the projector speaker is not the one that I wanted. DJ speakers was another option that I've considered as well. The only thing is that I'm going to spend well over $100, uh, maybe like $150 to closer to $200 for some kind of DJ speakers. And they have their own, like, the, the type of inputs are not your, your regular uh, speaker inputs. Um, and they do come with their own tripods. Um, I suppose it's probably the best option for sound. However, to keep my cost down, I selected not to use uh, DJ speakers. So the other option that I was thinking about was using my uh, 2.1 sound system. So you got two satellite speakers, on the one on the left, one for the right. So you have two audio channels and then you have the point one, which is the subwoofer. So the issue with selecting a 2.1 system is that they're not as powerful as you may think. Inside your house, in your room, you get a nice rich bass because it's bouncing off the walls, especially if you have wooden floors, you're gonna really be thrilled about a 2.1 system. So I wanted to get the most powerful 2.1 system. So this is the most powerful 2.1 speaker system that I could find on the market. It is the Logitech Z623 model. This is rated up to 200 watts of power. So it's the highest one that I could find. And I figured, okay, I'm gonna use this for my projector. And initially it worked really well. Like when everyone's quiet, there's no noise, um, you can put it at its highest volume and it will get the job done. Let me just uh, show you what it sounds like. I know that you're not gonna be able to hear the full sound, but just for comparison reason. All right, so to avoid any copyright issues, I'm gonna play a song uh, from a local band. It's these speakers refurbished <clears throat> I got the job done for maybe a couple of events and then I figured you know what I need some more volume so I had a pair of these Yamaha speakers that I purchased maybe like 12 years ago and I figured you know what how can I use these bad boys so I forgot how I got into or how I found out about these but this is a, a mini amplifier and it's a very simple little device. It's cost me about $20 or 24, I forget, on Amazon. And you've got your uh, aux connection, like your regular headphone jack connection. So I figured, okay, so I'll connect this to the uh, projector. And then you have your simple uh, speaker setup. So, so I've got my speakers wired in there. Let me go ahead and um, connect uh, the power and then add my audio jack. So it is connected and it is ready. Let's power it up. It's got a super bass button. It actually works. You know, sometimes you see these things like that and you think, oh, it's gimmicky. But no, it actually does something. So in the end, my recommendation is to, you can use a mini amplifier and if you have some bookshelf speakers, go ahead and use that. It is way better than the 2.1 sound system. Well, the most powerful rated 2.1 sound system out there. As you can see, I have the Logitech ones. Um, so yeah, just mini amplifier and bookshelf speakers. They are beasts. So to me, this is like, yeah, yeah. Okay, because this one uh, obviously is not enough volume with the projector speaker. The DJ speakers are going to cost you money and they're also large and cumbersome. 
and then the 2.1 is just, eh, it's just it's all right it's just it'll give you a good bass but it just doesn't have enough of the the highs uh and the mini amplifier bookshelf speakers wow i've owned this device for maybe a year at this point it's still working pretty good have no issues with it in fact this is what i use to power my music like outdoors now i, I when we have parties to hook up to the projector whatever it is i use this now Here's the one thing about this device. You're not gonna get amazing bass because there is no dedicated subwoofer attached to this. However, there is one device and it costs about $75. So I'm gonna try it out eventually so that I can have um, amazing sound all together, like you know your satellites and your subwoofer. So one day I'm gonna buy the other one and I'm gonna attach a dedicated subwoofer to it and we're gonna be rocking, dude. There's one thing that I forgot on here, and that would be the home theater system. Um, so the reason why I didn't, um, you know, add this on there is because it's a huge receiver, and I'm not gonna pull it out of my living room um, and dismantle my whole setup in the living room and then bring it outside. It just doesn't make sense. Um, it's a lot of work. It would be tedious and laborious. Uh, that's the reason why I didn't add it there. So. There you have it.